Hello everyone. Today we are going to see uh, an example of which are the difference between the classic indicator ATR and the customized version of the indicator store, the TIS ATR TIX. As we can see on the chart, both indicators have the same shape. This blue line is the classic ATR. This green histogram is the ATR TIX version. Both have, have the same shape, but the difference is the mm, absolute number. Because, for example, for crude oil, on a one minute chart, the classic ATR has a value of 0 0.01 which is the equivalent to 1.67 ticks. On this example, the ratio is 100 to 1. So it is easy to calculate. But for example, for instruments where the tick value is not a uh, 1 to 1 ratio, for, ex for example DAX, on DAX each point has half uh, each point has two ticks inside so an, an ITR of four points is twice the number of ticks again the shape is the same but the value is different one uh, extreme of the case is looking at forex where we have, for example, on an Euro futures, we have very small numbers. But if we look at the ticks value, it is 0 0.5 ticks. That means that on a one minute chart, it moves half ticks per minute maybe on a higher time frame we get more meaningful meaningful values we can see that the shape is the, s the shape is the same and we have for example the peak value is around 9 ticks per minute not the same that looking at this decimal value. So what's, what's the benefit of having the normalized version against using the classic ATR version? Well the, mo the most important, Nico, let me go back to crude oil, the most important difference is that we can compare different instruments when we place several instruments on market analyzer and we look at the average true range we need a value expressed in something that can be com compared between them for example all these numbers are the ATR ticks it is using the the this ATR ticks looking at the five minute chart. So all these numbers are normalized and we can compare one each other. For example on on Forex we can see that we have a 0 0.5 the same number we we were looking a few minutes ago and uh, not the classic ATR with a lot of zeros in the front. So we can sort all the instruments regarding to its volatility. Okay, ho hope this has been useful to better understand how this works. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.